Hey guys, it's Paul, and I finally have another VHS update. Now, I know it's been a long time, but, uh, I was able to gather up some money to buy some stuff. Since I had my accident, um, I wasn't working, I didn't have income coming in, but, uh, recently I did have some money to spend, and I saw some of your guys' VHS updates, and you guys had some great stuff, and I felt like I was missing out on all the fun, so it inspired me to dig around and look for some, um, cheap VHS tapes to buy. But first, um, I'll show some... of. Uh, Three VHS tapes that I have that I gotten from a video store in Brooklyn. Here we have a uh, scalps. I love the artwork here. Um, picture's a little dark um, on here, but um, look at that artwork. It's pretty cool. You got that corpse and that rat. Um, this is what video company is this? Marquee, Marquis, Marquee. I think it's called. I just love that artwork, and I haven't seen this before, so I'm glad to, to have it. It looks really nice. Slaughterhouse. If you're a collector, this is just one of the basic ones you have to have, and I ha I actually didn't have it yet, but look at it. It's in mint condition. It's in great shape, and uh, I'm glad to finally have it in my collection. There are just some slash films you must have, and this is just one of them. And from that same place, I also got this one, Night Beast. This is a Don Dollar film, right? Is it? I think so. The guy who also did Blood Massacre, which I did a review of, this is the Paragon. Pretty sure they released a big box of this by uh, Paragon. I've only seen it once. I don't know how rare it is, but here it is. Now that video store also had a huge binder of cut boxes. It was ridiculous. It had huge binders of all genres, and I found the horror one, and they had some really super rare stuff. But they were all cut. They were cut to fit inside the binder, unfortunately. Yeah, so that was a pretty cool experience, finding all those cut boxes in that binder. It was like a treasure trove of artwork. It's just really unfortunate they were all cut. I dug around the internet, and I found some really cheap VHS tapes, big boxes. My most favorite one, well, one of the most favorite ones here, I got two that I really wanted, but one of them that I was able to get. I wanted it for a long time. I found it online for five bucks. When I finally got it, I was disappointed because it was faded. House of Death, look at that artwork. Uh, look at that, it's just brilliant artwork here. This will probably be one of the best. I'd put this in the top five of the greatest VHS horror artwork ever released. It's just, uh, it's gruesome, it's terrifying, terrifying, it's bizarre. House of Death, big box. Um, it's supposed to look as vibrant as that picture on the spine, but no, it's not. It's slightly faded, which is unfortunate, but I can't really complain. I only got it for $5, and I know if I did sell it again on, um, I don't know, eBay or something, I'd probably get like 20 or so for it, but um, I'll hold on to this until I find one with a crisper picture. But look at that artwork. That is some great artwork. It's amazing. This is Video Gems. This one I got for $0.99. Cents. Werewolf of Washington big box. It's uh, funny looking. I like it. it. Actually has a date on the top. Can you see that? Where is it? 1983. So, gives you an idea of the age of this video, this big box. Um, it's worn a little bit, but I only got it for a dollar, and the box is intact, so that's pretty cool. I just love that picture of that werewolf. His white-haired werewolf, like an old man werewolf. All right, what else have we got here? This one I spent a lot of money on, because I don't see it popping up that often, and I know it's rare. And has it also has some of the greatest artwork ever for a VHS release. The buy it now is fifty dollars. I had to have it because I would imagine it would go for more on auction. Here it is, the big box of the Gorgo Girls. Midnight video. This is look at this artwork. That is brilliant. It's it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. Also, in probably the top five or ten uh, greatest VHS artwork of of all times. H. G. Lewis's releases had some great artwork, including this. It's probably one of the better ones. The Gorgor Girls. I don't see this popping up on eBay too often, so I had to get it. I never really get a chance to get it. I see it on Amazon sometimes, but when it is on Amazon. There's always only one on Amazon, and it's in a cut box, so... So when I saw this with a buy now of 50, I had to go for it, but... Ever since I bought this, I've seen a couple of these on eBay selling, so it's just a weird coincidence. I don't know, for such the longest time, I never saw any of these often enough on eBay, but now I'm starting to see them on eBay, but... I'm really glad to finally have it. Um, I did spend a lot of money on it, I usually don't spend that much on videos, but... I just I just love this artwork and I didn't want to pass up an opportunity to get it at a somewhat decent price. It'd probably sell for maybe sixty on eBay sixty. So fifty dollars, you know, I'll take it. 
Here's another one I got for like two, three dollars, but unfortunately, it's faded. Dun, dun, dun. I hate the faded artwork, and here it is. Uh, Don't Open the Door by SF Brown Rig, that same guy who made Poor White Trash 2 or Scum of the Earth, whichever title you'd prefer. But uh, here it is. This should be some blood on that machete. There should be some red around those uh, letters on top, the, the name of the movie. Don't open the door, but it's faded. Give you an idea of how faded it is. Look at the red on that. That's how it's supposed to look, but now it's just like this uh, um, turquoise green with uh, white. When it's supposed to be green with red. That's how faded it is. But that's some pretty cool artwork. Not that great. You know, I like stuff with knives and bloody machetes and all that good stuff on the artwork, but uh, it's faded, so... Once again, I'll have to hold on to this until I get a better uh, quality box. Vengeance of the Zombies. All Seasons Entertainment. I love. I always love their artwork because it's really morbid. This one isn't as morbid as maybe Exorcism or Devil's Possessed. It's a big box and I only got it for five dollars, four or five dollars, and it's in really decent shape. So I was really happy to get it in um, fairly decent shape for. A fairly decent price a really good price actually all right from the same person I got love me deadly I got this for like three bucks look at the box it's in great shape really nice shape video gems just like house of death uh, they first sent me a cut box I was like whoa cut box you said it wasn't cut it not only was it cut but it was faded it was just horrible they sent me another one and this is what I got they sent me one not in a cut box. The front isn't faded, thank goodness. The spine over here is. I guess it was stored this way for a long time. But um, what's most important to me is the front, because that's where the artwork is at its best. I have here a thriller video, Elvira, hosted by Elvira release. It's uh, Guardian of the Abyss. You, if you want big boxes, you could pretty much find these Elvira ones pretty cheap, most of them. Some of them are worth more, like Monster Club. That will go for a nice chunk of change for whatever reason, I don't know. But this one I got for like 3 or $4. Dollars. Here's another Elvira release, Thriller Video. A visitor from the Grave. Cheesy artwork here. You know, basic Thriller Video Elvira release. Um, also got this for about 4 or $5. So yeah, this is it. I guess there's not much more to say about this. I'm just glad I got these for a fairly good price. And last, but not least, well, a long time ago I had gotten a lot with a Paragon Video Productions big box of Body Shop, um, also known as Dr. Gore, I believe. This was the original one I got. Look how um, it's faded. It's really worn. Um, I've wanted another one, and I came across another one. And I took my chances and um, hoping that it was uh, not as faded and not as worn so here's the new one now look at that color that color is awesome now this is not faded it looks awesome but and there's always a but but it is pretty beat up look at the bottom of this box that is chewed up really chewed up pretty bad but uh, still better than my other one nonetheless so I can get rid of that one soon but um, as you can see, that's some great uh, color. Let me compare them. Let's put them side by side. Yeah, you see the difference there? Big difference. You know, would you rather have this or this? This is why I don't buy faded boxes. This is what it was meant to look like. This is what it should look like. So I was able to find one. And I'm still not happy that it's still a pretty beat box, but I'm getting closer. <laughs> closer to getting a better one in better shape so yeah that's it guys um i'm doing a review soon within the next couple of days hopefully and i'm doing it on uh what is it mardi gras massacre super sleaze fest movie really sleazy it's gonna be a great review i hope because there's a lot of funny stuff to say about that movie so um this has been paul and look out for my future updates and reviews good night guys